Remembering back 12 years to the year 2000, I was living in France and came over to visit my family in Thailand. Not long after our arrival, we heard the story of a bull elephant destined to be sold to illegal processors for his tusks, meat and other things besides. He was only 43 years old and considering the life he had had so far, had understandably developed aggressive behavior towards humans. News of his terrible fate got out and an 11th hour appeal was launched. Thanks to a sizable donation from our friend David Lyman, an American lawyer living in Thailand, Om Chakawan's life was saved and soon afterwards, on May 26th, he started a new and peaceful life at the Royal Elephant Kraal in Ayutthaya, where I am making this sculpture today. In January this year, I thought I'd like to make a sculpture of Om for my friend David Lyman, whose help saved him from slaughter. Eva and Michelle that managed the day-to-day -day running of the Royal Elephant Kraal told us he was still living peacefully there, despite the entire area having suffered one of the worst floods in Thai history. We remember also after Om settled in UTR, he became approachable and could even give visitor rides in safety. His left back leg bore the deep scar from his former days tied by a wire by his previous owner at a loss of the knowledge of how to control him. On leaving Bangkok to make this sculpture, we could see the water line stain on the walls of houses as we passed along the roadside all the way to UTR. On entering the camp, we could see the damage to the Mahus village, but also the evidence of hard work underway to repair the corral and return to normality again. Here, Om Sculpture is at home in my studio in Bangkok. I've got my sketchbook open and putting on some of the smaller details. The silicon rubber mold of my clay elephant was made at a bronze foundry. I'm painting hot wax inside to make what is called a lost wax. The wax is covered in reflector plaster for the part of the process where molten bronze is poured into the mold replacing the wax and taking its former shape for eternity. I'm at a foundry in Bangkok. Om has been cast in bronze. I'm heating up the metal to apply chemicals to color the bronze. The surface needs to be very hot so the color will be permanent. I wanted to put Om on a black marble base. So we took it to a stone merchant and they cut it for us. We had the edges polished and holes drilled, which is a delicate business and not so easy to do. We took the sculptures back to the foundry and they drilled and threaded the holes in arm space to attach the stone. And now, arm Jakawan sculpture is finished. <laughs>